Hello, this is me, JD Jade Inside, and I'm going to actually have a go at making a Tomb Raider level editor level, which I downloaded the editor, and it's a very annoying game of things to get running, so. Bit of a bugger. Got it on, uh, no one knows. Got it on Windows XP 64, managed to get it running. So we end up with this. This is a, a newer front end, because the original one didn't have this, the original editor doesn't have anything like this. So, we go into the editor proper the full screen. What we end up with is a kind of space that we make a room in. Now this is a later editor that they've redone because the original one you get with Tomb Raider Chronicles which I've got doesn't actually work very well and it's a bit crash it crashes a lot. So you have to get this newer one that patches the original uh, editor. I think you have to have the old one and then you put the new thing on top of it. So there's a number of libraries and things you have to download, DLLs or whatever. And it takes a lot of messing about with and I managed to get it running. And it's a little bit funny even on this because on Windows 7 it just doesn't render the textures properly for the rooms. But on Windows XP, because it uses DirectX 9, as far as I understand, DirectX 9C, it just about runs. But I got it on an older machine which uses Windows XP and it works very well. So. Let's start off with this thing, so we have to press shift and the cursor keys. The actual original one, it goes too fast, you can't see what you're doing. And we go around this space, so it shows you exactly what's going on. Then we press page up, is it page up? Page up and page down and shift and you get this in and out motion, it's a bit slow on this. So we want to build a room. I think levels, as far as I understand, the main levels on Tomb Raider are built out of rooms. So right mouse button and you drag it whilst keeping the mouse button down and you get like a square like that. And this side here is 2D and this is 3D. So I've let go of the mouse button and we need to bound it. It makes a room like that. And we have these four walls I've seen it in the floor. Now, this is absolutely huge, so we need to bring this down, and the ceiling is plus and minus. About half, something like that, that's more than enough. Now, the walls are basically panels. If you want to put a texture on them, you go and press floor plus. No, we don't, hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, I'm very, I'm a total amateur. Highlight it with the right mouse button and drag the cursor. And we do this floor up and it produces a line. And if you do the same for ceiling and do minus, you get another line. And what that is, is when you put the textures on, they're not stretched to the ceiling to the floor. You have to do that for every wall. Floor plus matches it matches this bit here. And ceiling minus. I had a hell of a lot of trouble getting it running. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I looked on, two, on YouTube, there was a channel that I'm subscribed to, I've put a link. And it basically does what I'm doing, but they, they didn't do a commentary, so I'm like watching going, uh, how does that work, and how does this work? It's a little bit involved, I think, but um, I managed to make a little level, but I've no idea how you do turn it into a level that you could put on a Charlie website, you've got to put lighting on it. Um, I could do a separate video about lighting, the whole thing you could do there. You can put enemies in the level, you can put trigger objects. I'm going to make a very simple room. <laughs> For the purposes of the video. Now, we've got the walls with the three textures there. What you have to do, if you want to go texture. Now, I'm not going to get into how you do, um, modern textures, or modern like plugins and stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube and there's loads of websites that cover that. I'm just doing very basic. I'd love to do a level but I'm not any good at it. So we have to go to extra textures. These just seem to be from the Tomb Raider 3 game from London. Loads of in and here they are. And these are pretty much all the textures you'll find in say the, uh, the rooftops of London, Thames Wharf. So we want a wall texture. I hope this doesn't start going funny on me because it started doing weird things with the graphics. But let's say we want, I say that one. I need to go face edit. See, there's all these buttons. 
face at it and then you uh, left mouse button and you can do that it's pretty simple you drag the cursor and it makes that texture there go onto the squared let's have another one of these I'm going to keep it pretty simple actually I don't want to go too, too complicated with it Okay, so we've basically done the walls there, it's pretty simple. And then we... Oops, no, I've done that wrong. See, I've done it wrong, so it's no, no big deal. We just get the other texture. Now, you do the lower one. And the top one again. Okay, I don't know how to export these as, a, as an actual playable level, so I've not got that far, but this is... It's pretty good. I think I've got enough knowledge to make a very simple level with a few rooms. But I don't know how to get these things properly exported yet. So it's not a very not an exhaustive guide. So what I'm going to do for the ceiling, what you can do is... Say you wanted to make the floor like, like lower in the middle. So we do right mouse button, drag the mouse. It, oh, I've done that wrong. <laughs> do it again. And say you want to take that lower, where it says floor and minus, just do that. And say you wanted to put in uh, you can use, you can highlight it with the mouse like this, right right mouse button, pull the mouse, and then you can press the left mouse button, you get these arrows, and then you go floor minus, and you can do that. And that makes a slope. Over here we could have some stairs, and what I could do here is I could go without doing the arrow if you get a thing where it basically just lowers the block rather than tilting it in the arrow direction. Do that, that's how it's doing. Right, left mouse button, you get the arrow, and you just do the minus, and you get a little slope like that. Right, so there's the floor. You do the same to the ceiling if you want to be creative. Zoom out with the page up, page down. I've got an arrow there, I don't know why that is. <laughs> Sometimes it puts the, t the the red thing on the ceiling when you're doing the floor, I don't know why. Right, we go ceiling, we go plus, and we do that. And you can do the same thing again there. Be careful you exit the wrong one because you'll push the floor up or down if you're doing the ceiling. And then we can do the same thing again. I first point you get the arrows. And you go minus, oops, like that. Same again, left, right to highlight it, drag it, and then, oops, no, I've done something wrong there. There it is. Okay. So I'm not going to go too elaborate because you can spend absolute ages on one room. That doesn't have an effect to the floor, but as long as I don't click the floor thing here, and I'm doing the ceiling, I keep to this for the ceiling, that for the floor. This makes the room go up or down. But in relation to other rooms, if you've got another room you've created, you want to join them together. Okay, so we'll take that out of this mode and go into face edit. Now, I've done the floor wrong. Let's do the floor. What you can do is red highlight, red uh, left mouse button, drag it, and it makes it all the textures. It saves a bit of time. Um, let's have a look. What have we got? Let's have some of this metal work or whatever it is. Oops, no, I've bloody done that! Come on. This is quite an old edit, I mean, it's, it's, you can't do certain things. Certain textures don't fit in certain blocks when you've angled them. You can't make the walls go in and out. So if you wanted to make that stick out, as far as I understand, I could be wrong. I have not found a way of making, say, that square poke right out to make a platform. I don't know how to do that. I don't know if it can do that. Could be wrong. I think you have to make the floor move up and down. I'm not sure how it all works. I'm not going to get into advanced stuff. And then I'll go with let's have some of this light brick. Okay. So I'm just going to colour these in. Finish these. If you leave a blank one, when you play the level, it's just basically transparent and all you see is black. So, 
do that wrong. Okay, so I just want to put a couple more these sort of lateral type things in. It's a bit more varied. But <sighs> what about we got any more of that? This type of thing. Okay. So that's basically a very simple level. I've got to do the scene then. It's a little bit involved because when I first saw it, I was like, what? I don't understand. Very annoyed at it. But once you get the basics, I think you have to do it step by step. You have to learn how to make a little room. Then you can join it to another room. And then you can link rooms together. Then you put objects in the room. And once you've got that down, then you go from there to try and make a bigger level. I have trouble with getting doors to work, there's a trigger object, I'll have to do that in the next video. Uh, I'll do this, I'm bloody running out of time. i that, I'll tell you what, there's a... One of these. See what I got? You do, what you did, you click it with the left and rotate it with the right mouse button. I'm going to try not to be too elaborate with it because it's easy to get carried away and go, Oh, I could do this, I could do that. But it'll take two or three hours to do a room and you want to do six or seven rooms, it takes all day. Uh, it's not a good choice. What can I put in that? It doesn't make any difference. Just not going too crazy with it. I think the, the key is to make, if you want to look it to look, make it, if you want it to look nice, you've got to vary it because it just looks kind of boring if you don't put various things, because he's trying to hide the fact that it's a room made out of squares. Uh, let's put some more of them. See, this kind of squashes these. The limitation of the engine. Okay, so that's more or less the room. I've got to finish a few more textures. It's easy to miss things out. Let's see what I'll put them there. Very easy to miss one out. You go, oh, I've missed a bloody texture. You just do that, and that's basically the room that Lara will exist in. Of course, if you have one room, you can't get out of it. So you're stuck in it, but you can't get out. That's pretty much everything. I think I've got all the, um, thing there. What I'll do is I'll save it. You get project. This doesn't, this doesn't make a, a level you can export to TRLE. But it makes it so you can load it, edit it, and test it. So I'm going to call this, um, Room Lara. Oops. One. Save it inside this uh, space here, this folder. It's saved, okay. So I'm going to stop here and I'll be back in part two. <laughs>